Hello everyone and thank you very much for watching. This is me, Mr. P. Not so long ago, VMware announced a new feature. New feature allows you to connect Samsung DeX compatible device to some sort of USB-C hub that allows you to control Windows 10 virtual machine via Samsung DeX with a dual screen. Some of the members from a Samsung DeX subreddit group already made a post about this and I saw a couple of videos on YouTube showcasing this and I decided basically to try to connect something with my equipment, with what the stuff I have around me instead of going and pitching something new. I just decided to try out to see if I, I can do the same thing with my own setup. And here we are. What you see here is basically a Windows 10 virtual machine being powered, not powered, it sounds wrong. Windows 10 virtual machine being streamed to Samsung DeX via virtual here, USB type A hub with two HDMI cables connected. Basically how everything works, I would like to show you how everything needs to be connected in which order, but it's very fragile because once you connect, there's, there's a big chance it's gonna basically die on me any minute. So I just connected everything after I think five or six attempts and it's working now. So this is not ideal way to use it. This is more like a proof of concept, proof that it's working. I still need to figure out the how to fine tune to make this all performance work better but overall I still decided to record this video and I've already done a photo post on Samsung Tech Subway Group. I'll leave a link in that in that post for you to go and check the in, couple of photos instead of watching this video. Anyway, so how everything works. Basically, this is the Samsung Dex first gen dock station and Samsung Dex is powered by Galaxy Fold 3. So Fold 3 gets the power, gets Ethernet connection and the HDMI cable goes into HDMI splitter here and then one cable goes into my ultra monitor into this one. So this is HDMI number one. HDMI two and three are connected to QGIM USB type A hub and USB type A hub is connected to a Samsung DeX. And these two HDMI cables one and two goes all the way to a one and two monitors. So, so far I hope you're following. So I have HDMI one, HDMI two, HDMI three. HDMI 1 goes off Samsung DeX and HDMI 2 and 3 goes off QGIM USB Type A Hub. Then I have a virtual here app server running inside Samsung DeX. Virtual here, I've already done videos about this, so hopefully you already know what that is. But in a nutshell, virtual here is a service that allows you to push USB signal via internet. So virtual here server runs on my Samsung DeX setup it detects that I have QGIM USB type A hub and it's asked me, do I want to push that to a virtual here client? So I said, yes, and I want all this hub, especially these two connections being pushed by a USB type A port into my other machine. And this other machine is a Windows 10 virtual machine where I have virtual here client running and in here is detected my Android hub and I selected to use triple display mini dock station. So once I double clicked on that, it's detected this hub. And obviously once this hub is detected, it knows that there's two HDMI cables connected. And then these two HDMI cables pushing the signal from Windows 10 via virtual here client all the way back to Samsung DeX. And then Samsung DeX pushes these two signals all the way to these two monitors. So this is why inside Windows, I have screen one, two, and three. And if I click button identify, I get one, I get two, and I get free. So it's free triple Windows VM running via Samsung DeX. And as you just saw, one screen go, went off a bit. So it's, it's flaky as hell, it's not reliable, it can die any minute, but I still basically try, wanna show you what happens when I move the screen. Cause sometimes when I push that all the way here, these two screens will freeze and the window will basically, this side will still function and this side won't. On, by the way, on this side, what you see here is a Samsung internet browser. And inside Samsung internet browser, if I click on this, this is the Proxmox uh, web UI. So inside the Proxmox, I selected my Windows 10 virtual machine, clicked on a console and a console inside the Proxmox, especially with the VMs that allows you to remotely connect. I'm using no VNC feature to control this Windows 10 machine. So as you can see, I can move the windows uh, inside the window. Basically, if I click on the start, shows up the start. This no VNC side panel has a feature which if I click, it takes full screen of the browser window. So if a browser was full screen on the Ultra monitor, it will try to expand through all, all 
this window, but I'm doing this only half and only resolution at uh, 1280 by 960. Just it just make sure that VM doesn't really like gets tanked on resources. I don't want to basically push to the limit because it's, it's just going to freeze. The problem with this setup, uh, or main problem, is that the mouse, I'm using a Logitech MX Master connected via Bluetooth to the Samsung Dex, which is great. I can grab the mouse and as you can see, I'm turning on and on, on and off the, uh, the um, app draw and I click this right click, I see every, I can control the Samsung Dex. If I go over this no VNC window, the mouse gets duplicated or basically Windows, Windows mouse, right? if I hope you can see in the video, the bigger mouse is a Windows, Windows mouse and the smaller one is Dex. So it emulates one mouse pointer on top of each other, if that makes sense. So which is great. So I can click this window, I can drag around. The problem is if I go all the way to the left, I can't go any more to the left because Dex ends here and these two monitors are Windows 10 virtual machine. So mouse can't just magically jump on these two monitors. So at the moment I'm trying to figure out how to make the mouse jump on another screen. There is a couple options. Uh, one straight away just basically jumped to my head is um, using a cross service, which allows you to push my keyboard and the mouse across different devices via Bluetooth connection and a Wi-Fi. So this is option number one. Then there's another one which is called Synology. I think Synology one mouse. I leave a link in the description below for you to go and check it out. But there's another service I think it's called Synology, which allows you to use one keyboard and a mouse to control multiple devices. So I'm planning to see if that somehow can be um, utilized within Samsung Dex. And the probably most easiest solution, which is number three, is grab USB keyboard and a mouse, connect USB keyboard and a mouse to this QGIM hub, which has USB ports, USB Type-A ports on another side, connect this USB keyboard and a mouse into this hub, just have one mouse as a Bluetooth connected to a Samsung Dex, just to interact with Samsung Dex just enough to kickstart the virtual gear and the Windows and VM and etc. and get that working. So once I connect the, virtual, the USB keyboard and a mouse to QGIM Hub inside the virtual Windows 10 machine under virtual here client, I would be able to select keyboard and a mouse as well. By the way, I'm using virtual here, not free version. I bought the new license just a couple of days ago just to try this out. So it's not gonna work with free version because free version on side the Windows or special on Android allows you to use one device for 15 minutes. Uh, so I had to pay their new license. I bought the new license of Windows for virtual here. That's why I can select more than one device. At the moment, I'm obviously one, using only one here because I don't want to basically uh, overkill this. But then like uh, back to the keyboard and the mouse, I would be able to connect USB keyboard and a mouse. That would mean that this hub with all the peripherals connected to this hub, will push the signal via USB type A port to virtual here server and virtual here, virtual here server will do, will do just jump into my Windows 10 VM. So this is the option free. Another thing, the problem with this kind of setup is that I'm right now using a virtual non-VNC non -VNC interaction within this, uh, all this system. So if right now I'm gonna say, let's disconnect this. So I disconnected the, the, the triple dock. So this monitor is still showing the thing, but basically it doesn't work. As you can see, I'm basically dragging all the way to the left. They are frozen in time. What was the last thing they saw? So I'm gonna basically, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go this, I'm gonna click on a summary. That's turned off. I will run the RD client. So if I'll run that, so that is running. If I'll click right now, this is RD client. So I have full screen, Samsung Dex. I already done a video about this inside my video of Proxmox setup episode two, how to set Windows 10 VM and control via Samsung Dex. So this is pretty much what I'm doing. If I'll click on this, I'm gonna say use these two devices, these two monitors. Not always these two monitors will come up and start showing picture because for some reason RD client once you're doing this, if I go into the display settings, it's detected these, but for some reason, it's not always happening. It's not always doing anything because it says the display settings can't be changed in remote session. So RD client basically blocking me 
from using the side monitors. Um, actually, yeah, they're going on a standby. Oh no, here we go. Something happening, finally, hopefully. Oh no, they're just gonna be in a, in a dark color. They're not gonna lit up because RD client, basically doesn't matter if you, I have 50 monitors connected, it's still gonna show one. Okay, yeah, that's, that's, that's the thing. So I'm gonna close RD client. Let's close that. Let's go back into Proxmox server under Windows 10 VM. I'll click on a console, click on this, uh, do a full screen, click on here. Let's log in. So I'll, I'll, I'll enter my super secret pin number and I'm back in the Windows 10 VM. I'll double click on a triple display mini dock station. Monitors doing something. No signal, no signal. It's flaky. It's, I don't think it's gonna start now. So I'm just gonna disconnect and connect back in. And hopefully it's gonna trigger while it's doing I'm not sure if it's actually gonna do anything or not another thing I want to mention with the setup the USB type a hub is basically cooking it's like it's on fire it's not like super hot but it is warm to touch so and the USB type a port on deck station is not 3.0 where this hub USB type a port the the male end is 3.0 so for better performance would be ideal to connect every all this hub into a 3.0 port. Here we go, the free monitor showing up. So I'm back to a uh, free displays. Uh, so like I said, I need to connect probably USB mouse and get that in. But this is this is my setup of triple monitor Windows 10 VM via Samsung DeX. It's not ideal, it's sometimes flaky, like I said, sometimes freezes, but it's working. Well, up to uh, it depends how, how what you're calling working, but it's it's functioning at certain level and it's sometimes like I said lag etc but it's it's doable so I right now need to figure out a couple of things proper mouse and keyboard inputs better streaming quality and figure out if there is any other way to stream free monitors or, or most importantly how to stream the main monitor or main display on ultra wide screen without all this malarkey with a browser or something like RD client but not use a Microsoft one use something else Maybe Parsec. Maybe I will be able to use Parsec. I need to check if that's, that's doable. But anyway, triple Windows 10 VM on the Samsung DeX. And by the way, disclaimer, this is not VMs running on Samsung DeX. This was one of the confusions I received via comments. People saying, oh, so you're running Windows 10 VM on a DeX. No, 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 no. DeX is here, acts more like a, a middleman, a, a, a middle point communicate between the monitors and uh, my Proxmox server. DeX in this, in this case is more like a powerful thin client, if that makes sense. Anyway, thank you much for watching. I'll keep you posted with this progress, uh, see how far I can push this to finally have multi-monitor setup with Windows 10 VM via Samsung DeX. Anyway, enough yapping. I'll see you in another video. Goodbye.